Let's do a shorter strategy this video. Noctilus wants a soggy donut. Let's help him with that by killing Tyrion on turn 4. Let's begin. First, send Noctilus around Vold's Anvil, ignoring the starting army. That's all for this turn. Then, tell Noctilus to land his army on the right side of this coast. From here, drudge up any corpses you find appealing. That's all for this turn. It's now turn 3, and it's time to end Tyrion's career. Move next to Lothar, and then recruit a new lord. Then, transfer Noctilus's crew over to the new captain. Fish up some more crew. Then, it's time to attack Lothar. Welcome to Lothern. Noctilus will be the distraction in this fight, while our new recruit makes their way through the back door. When the battle starts, get Noctilus to knock on the front door to get their attention. That's all. Make sure Tyrion doesn't get close to Noctilus. Once our new recruit gets inside, they can start rummaging through Tyrion's stuff. The High Elves won't be happy with us ransacking their homes, so we'll have to send our crew to keep them out while we search. Eventually your Lord will find the deed to the city, the paperwork will be signed and stamped, now the High Elves will be legally required to leave. Noctilus now has exclusive rights to own Lothurn, but Tyrion won't be happy. So next turn, we will be kicking him off the island. On this turn, Tyrion will be sulking nearby. He won't be hard to deal with in this state. From here, Noctilus and his second lord can attack Tyrion again and continue to take the Tower of Lysine, evicting him from the island, never to be seen again. With Tyrion gone, Noctilus will soon have that soggy donut he always wanted.